welcome to our earnings special today. Uh, we're looking ahead at a couple of the big US corporate earnings releases happening today on Wednesday. Uh, first up is Facebook. Now it reports uh, fiscal first quarter earnings after the market closes today. Uh, consensus EPS forecasts indicate $1.63 on revenues coming in just a little short of $15 billion. That would, however, represent a 4% decline uh, in EPS from the $1.69 uh, reported the same quarter a year before. Advertising revenues remain uh, a story of strength. Uh, expect a 25% increase from a year before. Uh, that's when revenues were coming in around $12 billion for the quarter. MAUs, that's monthly active users, remains a key metric for the company. Now, they rose 13%. A quarter, uh, in the Q1 2018 uh, and have since climbed again and we're up 9% year on year in the last quarter. So we're looking for another increase in MEUs despite all the problems that Facebook's obviously been through. Uh, it does seem to be able to continue to grow users. Daily active users were also up 9% in the last quarter, so steady growth on both metrics there. Average, average revenue per user uh, was up sharply last quarter, climbing 19% to $7.37. We'll look to see further growth on that particular metric to, to show that it can continue to improve the monetization of its users. Uh, margins are coming into focus, of course, though, because Facebook is investing heavily on initiatives to stamp out some of the extremist content, to improve its... Um, safeguarding and so on. So there's lots of things happening uh, for Facebook that, that are, are drag on costs. Um, and we see net profit is falling around 6% to $4.69 billion for the quarter. All this investment is crippling margins. Uh, they've slipped to 46% in the last quarter of 2018, having been up at 57% just a year before. Um, despite this pressure on margins, it does look like Facebook is probably putting a lot of its troubles behind it. User growth is improving. Uh, monetization efforts are improving, advertising revenues are key and they're going through the roof. We do, however, have to wait and see uh, what the FTC decides uh, in terms of a fine for past misdemeanors, in terms of privacy and so on. We've had lots of uh, leaks and problems with Facebook, of course. So uh, reports in the Wall Street Journal indicate uh, a multi-billion dollar fine for, the, for Facebook, whilst that would obviously hit short-term profits uh, and cash flow, it wouldn't be materially damaging to the stock. Uh, finally, whilst Facebook is not one that usually is led by its smaller competitors, uh, we had very strong numbers from Twitter yesterday, and we also had strong numbers from Snap, so that does all bode well for Facebook. Next up, uh, Tesla is also reporting its uh, quarterly numbers after the close today. Uh, it looks to be a bit of a write-off, though, for Tesla. We've had some very weak delivery numbers already uh, reported in April for the first quarter. Uh, they were down to problems in China. There's US tax credits have rolled off. So it's, people are, it's not as cheap to buy a Tesla as it used to be because you're not getting those tax credits in the US. Uh, the firm delivered just 63,000 units in the first quarter against expectations for 76 thousand deliveries. That was a big miss. Uh, management sticking to its guidance of 360,000 to 400,000 deliveries for the full year. Whilst that is uh, a sign of some confidence, even that, if you take that against the final two quarters of uh, the previous year, would represent flat year-on-year -year growth for, the, for, for Tesla, uh, or flat to 10% growth. And that's not very much for uh, supposedly a strong growth company that is burning cash because it's growing so quickly. Uh, the other thing that we'll want to be looking at is, uh, is this uh, earnings loss, as it will be. It's almost certainly going to be a loss. It's seen an uh, EPS loss of uh, $0.69, cents, although that is down from a $3.33 uh, EPS loss a year before. Uh, we're also looking at the CapEx guidance, that's capital expenditures, and it does look like Tesla, if we look back to the previous quarter's report, that it's been slashing CapEx in order to free up cash for operations. Um, CapEx had been guided at $3.4 billion in 2018 a year ago, but it came in at just $2.2 billion, uh, and it does look like, uh, like Tesla is having to free up as much cash as it possibly can to keep the operations going. Um, given that, though, that the market is expecting uh, a bit of a disaster in terms of the Q1 numbers, uh, guidance on profitability and unit deliveries uh, for the coming quarter and the rest of the year will be the key things to watch for for Tesla.